Hey guys, we are in Excel today and we're looking at charts and graphs, how we can format them and edit them and change things and all that stuff. But I'm also going to teach you to a couple of different teach you to. <laughs> I'm also going to teach, I'm also going to teach you to. I'm, I'm going to introduce you to a few more other graphs as well. Okay, so here we go. Here you can see I have a fictitious company that uh, we sell um, food like healthy food, okay, because I'm into like healthy food now. I'm trying, okay, it's not working. And you can see I've got like dates, regions, the city, what the category is of the food, the product that falls under the category, how much was sold on that day, how much the unit price was, and the total price. So I've got like a lot of information here, okay. I've got uh, 244 lines of information, so quite a bit to work through. Here you can see I've got the various provinces. I have four provinces, how much they sold in total, and what the percentage of the sales for that month or that year, is it a whole year? don't actually know uh, for the whole season of selling is there so I'm gonna see like okay if we were doing a basic graph all right like a bar chart let's just recap okay I'm gonna choose the names of the the provinces there I'm gonna hold down my control key control and I'm gonna select the percentages remember you use your control key to select things that are not necessarily next to each other so if one data is here another day is there something in the middle use your control key okay there's fancier words for this but I can't remember all right insert and I'm gonna do just a basic column graph there kaboom just like that kaboom yes did you hear it you did and here you can see right well I've got a chart here I've got my the uh, data bars here, the percentages are up there, Gauteng was the highest, KZN was was third, Pumalunga was second, Western Cape was fourth. Okay, so that was a basic chart, all right? Now, let's just see. With a basic chart, when you click on a chart, this is what I love about Excel. When you click on a chart, like I have done, on the right-hand side, let me maybe move over a little bit, on the right hand side you've got these little icons here these little buttons okay there's a plus here to add elements to the chart there's a paintbrush to work on the formatting like the colors and what it looks like and then there's a filter button that you can filter things what you can and can't show or it's awesome so let's have a look at what the plus does I'm gonna click on plus and you can see like I can add uh, access titles I can add data labels at the moment they're not there now they're there so let's put them on I can add a data table at the bottom if I wanted to error bars a legend okay or a trend line if I wanted to if something was changing over time so let's go ahead and add these things here okay oh, I don't want legend there I want to have just these and if I wanted to work on the formatting of how it looks I can click on the little paintbrush and I can go you know what I like that one that's pretty cool do you see now if I wanted to do more and I wanted to really get in depth to like how about like I want to change the grid lines and change the color or the interface all right so we need to get a little bit more in depth so I can just right click on my chart and format my chart area formatting the chart area brings up this little sign panel here and here I've got chart options text options fill border outline I mean, everything that I need is here everything that I need is here okay the properties the size everything that I want now let's go ahead and click on my actual data area where I've got the data and I'm gonna see here what I've got plot area options there's my fill there's my shadows I can go and right click on the actual grid lines okay I've selected my grid lines I can right click on the grid lines I can say format grid lines here we see over here let me just open this up a little bit I can choose automatic or gradient or solid I can choose the colors the transparency I mean there's a lot I can change here okay I can go ahead and choose my data labels and play with them there so there are quite a few things that you can do within a chart and it all just comes down to what it is you're wanting to choose if I just choose more options I'll get more options okay so let me take this on to the next step let's just take this out the way here okay let's go on to 
how a donut chart works, a donut chart. So what is a donut chart? I mean, when you say donut to me, I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, Krispy Kreme, here we come. But uh, it's not that kind of donut, unfortunately. So have a look. I've selected the provinces. I've selected their percentages. Okay. And I'm going to go to insert, go to my charts here. And it's this one over here. It's a donut because there's a hole in the middle. Hey. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and move that over there. Make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And anything that you click on, guys, if you click on something and you want to work with that thing, right click on it, choose something from the menu that comes up and see what it does. All right, do you see? I'm just right clicking and whatever I can do, I can just change. Now, watch this, all right? If I go and I want to add data labels, there they are there, I can then make them go out like that I mean it's all here it's all here so a lot about charts uh, and the formatting of charts is basically just looking right clicking clicking on the options on the right hand side of your graph or chart and adding or removing things that you don't want more options will always bring up your little side panel on the right hand side of your screen where you have access to all the other things that you need let me show you so here we have the fill this is for the effects here we have the dimensions or the size and properties and here we have the actual graph data so the numbers the label options i can choose if i want to show it in numbers or percentages which it is if i switch that off it takes it away switch it back on there it is do you see so that's what a donut chart shows let's change it to that one that's pretty cool i like that one and you know what let's put this on its own its own worksheet okay so when you have a chart selected all right, and you are in the design, you'll see on the right hand side in your ribbon, you have a move chart. Like you should know this already, but I'm just revising for you. Move chart. So if I move this chart, I can place it in a new worksheet and I will call this DN1 for donut one. Okay, I don't want to have it as another object, I want it on its own worksheet. And I'll show you why because when I put it on its own worksheet, it goes like bigger and better. And the, who doesn't want a bigger donut? <laughs> I know I do. So there you go. So that was terrible, terribly, terribly cheesy. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. I mean, that's the donut chart, guys. Let's do an area chart next. Let me show you what an area chart does. An area chart just shows the uh, amount of data something takes up, like a, how much it covers, for example. Let me give you an example here. I'm going to select... I'm going to select all of this information here. So here we have Gauteng sales from January to December, Western Cape sales from January to December. These are all the sales of all this healthy food product stuff that we've done. And I'm going to do a area chart. So let's do a 2D stacked area chart and I'll show you why. Watch. Check it out. Let's have a look here. Just make this a little bit bit. Wow, not so big. Ah, sorry, buddy. Not so big. There we go. Okay, there you go. So here you can see I've actually got my months of the year and I can see the amount of money and then I will update my series to represent Gauteng or Western Cape. How do I do that? Well, here we have our series. Here we've got four of them, but I mean, that's not going to help us very much. So I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to select data. Okay. So series number one, I'm going to click on edit. So that is uh, series number one is from F3 to Q3, F3, Q3. So series number one, I actually want to just, that's going to be Gauteng. Okay. That's going to be Gauteng. There it is there. Series number two. Let's click on edit and have a look there. So that's F4 to Q4. Okay, well that's the Western Cape. So the name of the series, I'm going to just click on Western Cape. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm just like sort of going here. It's just because it's cool. There we go. I don't want series three or four. Don't need them. Click OK. Oh, that is so much easier to work with. All right. So that, that is what an area chart does. Okay, area chart. So I'm going to give you some exercises and you can sort of play around with those. Then we have the line chart. A line chart, I'm going to show you, uh, for example, here. 
in fact I'll just do one for now I'm going to show you uh, what the line chart does a line chart is if something changes over time you'd like to see how things go over a space of time so I'm going to choose just this one here and there and here you can see right away I've got my months of the year January February all the way to December I've got my amounts of money here I've got these series here now again I've got two I only need one I just want counting so I'm going to right click here select data I don't want number two series one I need to give it a name so I'm just going to say edit I can see that that's F3 to Q3 which is counting so I'm just going to go and click on counting just to fill that in there there it is there that's quite nice so here you can see if I wanted to look over the space of time how things are going and sales are going I can see there's no definite trend here it's like up down up down up down up down. actually maybe there is a trend there <laughs> a, yeah cutting is up and down so maybe we should go into the roller coaster business oh padish okay oh, that was terrible <laughs> but that's what a line chart does guys it shows you the change of something over time I don't know why I'm doing this but that's just what line charts make me feel like doing okay so there you go I'm going to give you this activity and you're gonna just kind of go through it and play with it and then I'll give you a few more others just to get used to these different kinds of charts Where when you are uh, editing a chart okay remember what we do guys you have a look at the chart you right click on what it is you want to work with you can format the grid lines right there and then you can actually right click say format the chart area there will be many many options to what you can do just have a look see what comes up all right have a look here there we go the numbers are there let's say for example let's give you an example here let's do one where we change the starting number okay so here we go here you can see I've selected my numbers on the left hand side okay the the number so it starts at zero works its way up to 1400 rand okay now let's say I don't want this to go up in 200s it's going up 200 400 600 800 maybe I want to go up in 100s instead okay so I look over here and I can see here I'm on my axis options there is my axis options button over there okay my minimum is zero it starts at zero my maximum is 1400 I could change that I could change that to start at a hundred if I wanted to okay so watch when I press enter it actually starts at a hundred that's when the minimum starts and like that I could change it to 2000 if I wanted to 2000 do you see what's happening all right so if I go ahead down here and say okay my major units I'm going to make 100 oh my goodness and you can see that it's just not enough space there 100 200 300 400 500 600 etc etc and that's because I went and I changed this stuff over here let's go back to my access options I changed the major units to hundreds all right do you see what that does so to learn this guys get a chart get a graph open or create one and start clicking on things have a look at what comes up on the side and click on everything click on everything change everything the moment you start playing with stuff you're gonna start learning more and more all right but those are the different kinds of graphs here is where we do all the editing of our graphs have a look click on an object or right click on that object and go to format or go to properties you will see all of your options appear on the right hand side if you're stuck send me an email and I will forward it on to somebody else no I won't I'll, I'll probably help you <laughs>